Hi, Ben Marlow here, and this is Vintage Lens Club. Okay. One of the first old lenses that I bought was a Canon FD 35mm f2 chrome nose. In fact, it actually turned out to be one of the concave ones, so it's now worth a lot more than what I paid for it. Oh my God. It took a little bit of time for me to build up my Canon FD lens set and to realize that put against all my other lenses, 35mm was a lot warmer than the rest of the lenses. Like, a lot warmer. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. So after a quick Google and a bit of research later, it became apparent that the yellowish tint was from thorium that was in the glass back in those days when lenses were built. Thorium is a radioactive element known for its refractive properties, but I'm not really going to go into too much detail about that because who cares? The fact is it had a brownish yellowish tint. Whilst that look can be lovely and well warm, I wanted a set of lenses that all matched, so I had to get my lens back to normal. Luckily, the method to do this isn't very difficult at all. Quite simply, the lens needs to be exposed to UV light, which will in some way get rid of the yellowish brownish tint. There are a number of ways to do this. Of course, the sun is a great source of UV light and it's easily found in some countries. The sun rarely shines where I'm from, but even if the sun does shine, it can take at least four weeks for this to take effect. A much better way to do it would be to use a lamp like the lamp I've used here. It's a simple IKEA LED lamp, but I'm sure there are many others that work as well. This is the advice I was given and it's worked for me. We put a layer of foil down on a flat surface, put the lens down on its front so the back of the lens is facing up, and move the lamp into place so we can get right onto the lens. I place mine about one centimeter away. Then you just sit and wait. Come on. Come on. After four days of 24 seven exposure to the light, my lens was already showing signs of improvement. So there we have it, one dethoriumed and normalized lens, and one that now sits perfectly in my Canon FD set. It wasn't just Canon FDs that the thorium element was used in. It's quite often found in Pentax Takumas, Kodak lenses and a whole bunch of other lenses. So if your lens is a little bit yellow and a little bit brown, then this method will work for those lenses also. We'd love to hear from you if you've dethoriumized a lens, particularly if you've used another lamp successfully or indeed a completely different method altogether. Clint Lealos from Ancient Optics sent me this message and I'm gonna read it verbatim because I found it quite humorous. Just saw your video about thorium. I have a tested and proven method of reversing thorium aging in less than an hour. I could have done with knowing that before. You don't actually need UV light at all. Also, thorium has nothing to do with coatings. It's mixed into the glass itself. I'm happy to discuss it with you if interested. I always enjoy your videos and I think you do a great job of explaining complex topics in a simple way. Well, Clint, that's because myself, I am a simple man. I'm not sure I know what I'm talking about, that makes two of us, but I know what I'm doing works and that's the key, isn't it? That light you used barely emits any UV at all, but as you can see, it works. So I bought a super powerful LED outdoor security lamp from Amazon, link in description. That's what they do, isn't it? I broke out the safety glass and did some tests. I was able to place the lens very close to the LED diode like you did in your video. I noticed a difference after just 20 minutes. After an hour it was 80% better, but it didn't get much better with any additional time under the lamp. My theory is you don't need UV light at all. In fact, very little UV light penetrates the surface of the glass. All you really need is energy in the form of photons. So just get yourself some photons. Link in the description. No, it's not really. So any light will do. The more energy passes through the glass, the faster the aging process is reversed. Maybe that's all BS, but it's the best theory I have at the moment. And Clint, it's a very welcome theory. Boo, shut up. Daddy, does BS mean backside? No, it means bullshit. 
<laughs> also, make sure you go and check out Clint's work on Netflix. His first series is called The Rise of Empires, Ottoman, and it's beautifully shot and shot on the classic old B-Speeds. Link in the description. Press subscribe now. Subscribe now for cookies. Smash the like button. Our friend Jonathan Liz has also used this very same lamp and has enjoyed fantastic results with it as well. Also with a 35mm concave, I might add. If you've used another technique entirely or have used another lamp which works just as well, we'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And just remember, old is gold and they don't make them like they used to.